First, though, the Arkansas gubernatorial race is underway, and today Sarah Huckabee Sanders was in the River Valley sharing her platform with voters as she campaigns for the state's top job. Thanks for joining us for your 5 News at 10. I'm Erica Thomas. And I'm Darren Bob. This all part of Sanders' Freedom Tour. Early campaign start comes months ahead of the Republican primary, more than a year ahead of Election Day in November of next year. 5 News reporter Michael Wilson is in Fort Smith with more from today's rally. With more than a year until Arkansans go to the polls, Sarah Huckabee Sanders is working for her voice to reach more voters. She's got my vote at this point. She says it's not too early to start. I feel very confident in my ability to lead our state. What we need right now is somebody who can both be a fighter to push back against the radical left coming out of Washington. Sanders is the former White House press secretary for President Trump, and she says if elected as governor of Arkansas, she will work hard for the state. I can make sure that every single day we worked hard to empower the American people, not try to take away their rights and their freedom. One of the reasons she has support from some Arkansans like Rudy resident Alan Hicks, because of her history with uh, Trump and with the press, how she handled herself with the press at the White House, I really felt like she was strong. Strong was a word that was heard multiple times during the rally, and that's why hundreds filled the Riverfront Amphitheater in Fort Smith. I'm not at all scared of the fight against Washington. I'm only scared of what happens if we don't engage in it. And when it came to local issues like how to combat Arkansas's low COVID-19 vaccine rates and how she would react as governor with Act 1002, which banned public entities from enforcing mass requirements, she says it's all about choice. The most important control we can have is local control. There's nothing more local than a parent being able to make a decision about what's best for their kids. And when posed with the question about possibly getting rid of personal income tax. We have to be very responsible in this process, which is why I think a phase out plan works best. And there are not any one thing, but a collection of things that we need to do. Saying she will always be honest and straightforward with our Kansans. In Fort Smith, covering news where you live, Mike Wilson, 5 News. All right, Micah, thanks. On Saturday, September 11th, Sanders will be in Springdale at the Honoring Our Nation's Heroes Pancake Breakfast. It's happening at 7.45 a.m. in the parking lot of Sam's Furniture. The event is free and open to the public. Sanders is currently facing only one opponent in the Republican primary, current Arkansas Attorney General Leslie Rutledge, who also spoke with 5 News today. Rutledge says she believes her track record as attorney general will give her the edge with conservative voters across the state. As the attorney general, I've made decisions every single day on behalf of all three million Arkansans, making Arkansas the most pro-life state, uh, making sure that we have job creation, pushing for more educational opportunities for young people, such as workforce development uh, in our schools, protecting the right of parents to have school choice, while at the same time making certain that those who hurt Arkansans are held accountable. Meanwhile, on the Democratic side, Anthony Bland is one of four candidates vying for the party's nomination. He told us today his campaign is focused on helping struggling communities across the state. Uh, I believe we're still on a journey to uh, establish a profound education system. We're still on a heavy journey to provide health care for all of our people in our community. Here's a look at all four Democratic candidates. They include Chris Jones, who grew up in Pine Bluff, went on to get degrees in nuclear engineering and urban planning. James Russell, a central Arkansas businessman and former Walmart executive, Supa Mays. And finally, Ricky Dale Harrington Jr., who challenged Tom Cotton in the 2020 Senate race, is running on the Libertarian ticket. All seven candidates hoping to replace Governor Asa Hutchinson, who is now serving his second and final term as Arkansas governor.